Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing another carpet build. So as you can see there's like a pattern on this carpet and I wanted to recreate it in The Sims as a build. And here you can see that I'm building the shell and the top white stripe in the carpet I made a pool to have a separate well, entity there. And as you can see, I've already done the shell and also the roof. I cut that out of the video just to have it a little bit shorter. And now I'm doing the floor plan and starting to put in furniture. I started with the kitchen in the front and I wasn't quite sure how, to, how long to make it. So I fiddled with that a little bit and I cut that out of the video as well just because it took quite a while and I took the round table for the dining room because I actually really like that and I thought it fit really well with the color scheme that I was going for so I chose the carpet and then I looked at the different color options that there are and I found the blue one and I thought it looked really cool and I decided that the, that color scheme would be my main color scheme for this build. So blue and gray and white. And here you can see that I'm implementing that with the blue furniture, uh, blue walls and floors in the bathroom. And yeah, this is the master bathroom. And then I have separate bathrooms for the kids upstairs and a half bath for guests. And here you can see the different clutter items that I put in and uh, I put in some plants as well in this master bathroom just to make it a little bit nicer. And yeah, I also put in a painting and of course the towels and the bathrobes. And now I'm back in the kitchen. I hadn't finished it yet. I was mainly layout, uh, layouting in a sense, if you can do that as a verb. Um, yeah, I wanted to first do the layout and then do like the clutter items. Um, and yeah, I did that. As you can see here, I'm in the living room and I have like two separate portions almost. So the one where you can sit and watch TV and the one where you can sit near the fireplace. Just because it was such a large space and I thought it would be silly to only do the TV on one wall and call it quits. Now I'm in the bedroom and I cut out that as well because it was so much fiddling with everything um, because I wasn't quite sure how to uh, lay it out and yeah it took so long. Now I'm in the front of the build where I put an office because I think a separate office does make sense. Now you can see the two children's room, rooms and I decided that they would both be teens so I basically treated them like little adults um, and they have like normal beds and a desk in their rooms as well. And they both have their own bathrooms and I cut that out of the video just to save some time. Here you can see that I chose slightly different furniture for each of the kids because I didn't want them to have like exactly the same. I didn't want to treat them like twins um, but I did use the same layout for them just mirrored. Here you can see me putting in the lighting um, and yeah I, first I did the overhead lighting and then I put in some standing lights as well and of course desk lights um, those are ex important as well. I <laughs> didn't want to well, forget them. Now I'm outside. I uh, put out them outside as well, the lights, um, because yeah, you couldn't see anything otherwise, could you? Now I'm in the plants section and yeah, I basically um, went through it and put plants in every room. I hadn't done that yet beforehand um, and now I'm doing that. And as you can see, I even put something in the kitchen, um, just one plant 
I didn't have space for more. But I, I didn't feel like I had space for more because I knew that I needed to put some other things there as well. Now I'm in the master and I also needed to put in a rug. I actually had difficulty finding an appropriate one, but I took that one. It was like a neutral color, just a little hint of yellow, and I thought that would fit well with the blue. Now I'm in the children's rooms and as you can see I also put plants in there, quite a few. Honestly I'm not sure how realistic it actually is to have that many plants in like any room, but especially the kids room, because I think that kids often don't really like to take care of plants. So yeah, I'm not sure how realistic that is. Now I'm painting everything. As you can see, I've already done some of the rooms, but I hadn't done anything really yet, uh, except the bathrooms and the kitchen. So I needed to do that. And this is actually the first time that I deviated from the color scheme that I chose. As you can see, for example, the office, I didn't put a blue in there. I put the lovely green there. I really like that. And in the kids' rooms, I also chose something different. The outside, uh, what, what I'm doing now, um, as you can see, I'm putting down some stone to have surround the pool and also the front to the front door. I'm tiling the pool, so yeah, I put the same tile there as I had in the bathrooms. And now I'm fencing it in with some hedges. And also putting down some other furniture that is needed for outside. So for example the bins and of course also a grill and something to sit and eat with the umbrella. And yeah, then I'm also putting in some planter boxes just because I had space there and I thought it would look good. And upstairs on the balcony I put some lounging, so some sofas. And then I did some landscaping, especially behind the lounge chairs that I put beside the pool and next to the stairs to the balcony. And on that balcony I also, I also put a painter's easel so they can paint and look out to the river that flows there. And I also put some more plants there. And then I moved back inside and put all the paintings that are needed inside. So of course there is some wall space left after I finished with the windows, which is also something that I cut out of the video um, just to make the length a little bit shorter. And here you can see what I'm doing in the master bedrooms with the paintings. So I went through the debug paintings and I also used um, some paint it, normal paintings from the base game menu to make like a collage wall behind the bed. I actually really enjoyed that. Uh, I, it was a challenge to find enough pictures that made sense. And yeah, now I'm moving through the cutter items and putting anything down that I thought would be appropriate. And yeah, I put basically anything that I thought, oh yeah, I could use that, or the sims that live here could use that, I put down. And as you can see now I've also changed something. So I found a rather large clutter item, so the painter's thing, and yeah, I moved all the plants away to have that there. And then I moved to the debug menu and went through that, and anything that I thought would be good there, I also put down. And then I was finished. Now you can see some screenshots of the build. I hope you like it. You can download it from the gallery. My ID is TGG Sims, same as my YouTube channel name. 
I also hope that you liked the video and will consider pressing the thumbs up button and subscribing. Have a great week. Bye!